If you're trying to connect to Gmail or Google Drive via a personal Google account, so a personal Gmail account, as opposed to a Google Workspace account, you need to go through some additional steps in order to connect those up. So if you're seeing a message like this and you're using a Google personal account, then this is how you do it. You're gonna to need to connect via console.cloud.google.com, then go to select a project, a new project at the top right, then go in and add in your project name. So you can call this whatever you want and then assign it to an organization. It can be no organization if you want. Then let's just wait for that project to be completed. That should take a few seconds and then you can go select that project to the top right. Then under APIs and services on the left, go to enable APIs and services. And then go to enable APIs and services at the top. And then to start off with, we're gonna search for Drive. Then go to Google Drive API. And then press the enable button to enable this API. Then just wait for that to be enabled. Then on the left hand side, go to view all products. Then go to Google Auth platform. From here, we want to enter in an app name. You can enter in whatever you want, such as make, then enter in your email address, then click next, then select external and click next, then add in your email address again and click next. Then click agree and continue, and then click create. From there, go to branding on the left-hand side, then scroll down to authorized domains, add in make.com, and integromat.com to the authorized domains. Then press save, enter in your email address at the bottom, press save. Add in your email address under the add users, press save. Then go to data access on the left hand side, go to add or remove scopes and then select your scope. So we're gonna start off with Google Drive API. So just type in drive. And then from there, we're gonna search uh, or we're gonna select the auth drive scope and auth drive read only scope. Then scroll down from there and press save or update rather. Then press save at the bottom left. From there, we need to create a client. So this will be a web application. Name it whatever you want, such as a make web client. Then go down and select add URI. So we're going to add this URI, as you'll see in the video description, this Google restricted URI. Then we press create. And then we'll see the client ID and the client secret. So both of those will be on the right hand side. You can select download OAuth client. Once you do that, the client ID and the client secret will show up here, which you can copy out. So copy those out and you paste those into make.com into the client ID and client secret sections. And then press sign in with Google then a pop-up will show up. Just press continue from there. You'll need to select your email address first. So then just press continue from that. Then press continue again. Then you'll need to select the scope. So just check all the boxes from there and press continue. Perfect. Now we'll just wait for the connection. And there we go. You should be able to do whatever you want within make.com, such as we're gonna add in a new folder here as a test. We're gonna press run once. Then we'll go to Google Drive, refresh the page, and go to my drive. And there we go, that test folder has been created. So that shows that we have a successful integration, even though we're using a personal project. Next up, we want to enable the Gmail app or the Gmail API. Go to enable for that. We'll just wait for that to be enabled under, your, under the account. Then go to data access, add remove scopes. From there, we want to select the Gmail. So just type in Gmail in the filters. And I'm just going to enable all of those scopes from here. So I'm just gonna select all rows, then go to the next page and select all rows again. Then I'm gonna scroll down and press update. Then go down to the very bottom and press save. There are some extra scopes here, but you can ignore those. We're using those for a different automation platform. Now I'm creating a new Gmail module. So I've selected this module. Now I'm just gonna add in this account. I'm gonna select the previously created account that I have. A continue notification showed up. 
And now in this pop-up, press continue when it shows up. Press continue again. And there we go, just scroll down and press continue. If any boxes or check boxes show up, again, check those. Press continue. And from there, you should be able to create your own uh, integrations, whatever you want to do with Gmail, such as uh, adding a draft email, sending an email, whatever it is you want. So in this case, we're creating a draft. I just added some test data to that. I've pressed run. And you see the message uh, output is correct, or it's shown something anyways. So now I'm just going to go into Gmail. And there we go. We see this test email that has been sent from Make. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.